Hello, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review. In today's of which have Bulk and Bruiser of Brain Attack from 2013. So on the front of the bags have Lego Hero Factory logos, and what would be the Brain Attack logo there? Well, if it's all, if you found it brand new or whatever, but it's a picture of the set that comes within. You see, you have the names of which, and also points for the online game, or, or the inclusion of one's brain bug in it, and choking hazard below, and recommended ages, set number, amount of pieces. And on the back of which, you have a picture of the sets again, and also showing their features of which, and also the combination model that they make, and also how to enter points to the online game or app game as well, and also actual size of the helmet and masks pieces of which, and usual choking hazards and everything. And now onto the manuals, which same picture as on from the bags and everything. Comic strip of how the brain attack went on, and on the back, how to win on the online survey. Oh, it's add a Lego club, add for a couple other of the two of the other villain sets of the wave, and add of the combination model that they make, and also add for the online app games that there is, add for the simple Brainify game, or Brainify app, of course, and all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then the last steps. Starting out with bulk, or otherwise our fourth version of bulk. Well, unless if you count the two 1.0 versions that was also included in bulk and vapor, of course. But as you see, same size and proportions and all, just like Breeze and Raka of this wave also had, but also with some different things to it. Well, also including Evo in the second wave, of course. So as length to which similar to that of Breeze and Rockas, but also the size three armor pieces, but in trans orange, which I think might have been new to him, but or maybe it was prior and I forgot, but whatever. And also same as all the other hero sets, but instead the dualock clamps made of the Exoforce arms in orange, of course. And that's for the main arm of which similar to the others, but instead of orange hands instead of silver, which uh, other versions of bulk also had. And also, just like what Rocket had was uh, the Captain America shield piece, but with nothing on it in gunmetal gray, uh, which also nice to have for Mock King, of course. And on the other armor, which the size 5 armor piece, and also that breakout uh, add-on piece, but in silver, which Nice for mocking, of course. And his main weapon, just a random drill bit, which you can then spin, of course, which probably, which I think was probably the hint of bulk drill machine in Brain Attack or Invasion from Below in, uh, the, in the next year, of course. And inside it is a flick fire missile, which, uh, which was common at the time. Well, common from. 2008 to 13, but of course, luckily, the next year, well, Star Wars wise, they were introduced to the sprinkled launchers, of course, but yeah. And then, as for the head of which, headpiece, same as all the hero sets, well, at least for the first wave, of course, in the green color, and also this time, the visor piece, but in trans orange, nice recolor of that. Although, you can definitely use this with like, uh, with Evo brain attack, well, if you choose to, but 
also if you flip up and there's Bulk's helmet on which is quite different than that or a little similar to that of or quite different than that of like uh, Bulk 1.0 and Breakout of course with like with the lower gap parts of which kind of like that but uh, interestingly is but also kind of similar to the one that minifigure Bulk in Invasion from Below kind of also had but yeah but also of course since this wave or with or since this time around or brain attack where there wasn't Evo and Nex well Breakout was the last time but although I'm sure you can all figure out and make, but you can make your own versions of them if you want. But yeah, and I guess, but also, think and also think should have had the uh, wider armor piece or body piece make give him some more bulk, of course. But whatever, and also the technic bit here to put his shield onto, just like what Rocket and Evo or no Breeze both had, of course. But yeah. And that is it with Bulk. And now on to Bruiser. Oh, which, oh, which is quite cool of a character and also extra Bulk to him. Kind of suiting to his name, of course. So as for like the legs of which. So the legs there. Which almost simplistic, good use of these armor pieces, of course, and also another one of those armor pieces with the like 2.0 spike pieces, of course, to that. And also a size 5 armor piece with an interesting print on it, which kind of cool and all, kind of, kind of suiting to the rock bit theme of him. And that was for the chest plate, of which the usual. A uh, hero chestplate piece, of course. As for one arm of which, which kind of a simple one, but with a simple dagger, or made of a spike piece from that. And also, this time around, first time introduced to these armor radon pieces, which do have some like spiky rockiness to them, which Pyrox also in this wave also has. But at least nice to have. great for mocking, of course, if you are to make some uh, modified uh, uh, scrawl and strawness if you wanted, and also Savage Planet uh, piece there with a couple of Exoforce hands for extra detail, and also for his larger arm, more interesting, which also a couple more of those armor pieces and hero armor piece there and savage planet uh paw piece of which but in regular gray so which kind of interesting but as on the back of which as you see have lightsaber rock there which connects to a random ball joint there which if you press on it makes the arm swish up and down which kind of similar to the knight's kingdom figures and everything which if i zoom out a bit Better view of that. And so now on to the head part, which, as you see, although it's kind of more like mask in Bionicle, of course, but also this mask in particular, quite nice, quite uh, rock based, of course. There's him, yeah. But also have the brain bug piece there, but this time in orange, which is quite nice, of course. And interestingly, he which the only one of which to use the headpiece this way instead of like using the mask on this way, of course. Oh wait, I think Pyrox also does as well. So it's kind of an equal to match. And also, just like all the other villain sets of this wave, is like plenty of good coverage from the back of which, well done with the brain bugs tail bit, of course, attached to like the Paraka spines, obviously. As I get both of the sets here.
so for my overall verdict is I think these of which are quite good quite cool and good sets for this wave of course like a few good recolors on both of them and also interesting to see first time use of the uh, uh, flick fire missiles which we are used to seeing in Star Wars lines and everything which was luckily which we'll also see on Jet Raka and also and Stormer of course in wave 2 of course and also often in Invasion from Below, of course. Although bulk of which, uh, looking, although this might be a little too bit different from the past versions of which, but at least he gave some little hint for his next versions in Invasion from Below, of course. In Bruiser, plenty of good pieces to add for, to some rock characters and rock terrains and whatnot. And also good to have a orange uh, brain bug piece, of course, but yeah. And so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who happen and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.